there's been a bit of controversy outside of the game. Nothing to do with Earth Wars, kind of. For those that are not, don't know, Supercell do a few games like Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, uh, games like that. Some massive uh, drama has come into um, Clash of Clans recently. To try and put it into a nutshell, what happened was, was the game's been in a bit of decline because they brought out some really pay-to-win items in the game. Um, and the top players were not happy. But... They've complained about it, but they've still got the esports that they do. And people don't realise that, that Clash of Clans is actually an esport. And people put a lot of money into it. So, how this all started was, was from what I can gather anyway. So, apologies if I get this a bit wrong. But I've been watching a few videos on it. Especially Asmund Gold, things like that. So, from what I can gather, is there was a player that was in a alliance, let's call it. We call them alliances, you know. And he paid money to take part in this esports event to compete. And he was a very good player, one of the top players in the game. And one of the leaders of the alliance is a YouTuber for uh, Clash of Clans. But the problem with that is, what they said is that Clash of Clans say there's certain criteria to be an official content creator for Clash of Clans. So I think the first thing is that to be a tier three one, to be a tier three content creator, you need 100k subs before you can even be an official content creator. Because it's a huge game. Um, but I think then you can start covering the esports and you get a lot of you know exposure and things like that. But this person that runs this, this alliance, I don't know which one it is, but runs this alliance, supposedly doesn't meet that criteria. He's well, well, well short. But apparently he's really good friends with Supercell and the people behind the scenes. So from what I can gather, is I don't know what's going on, but... Supposedly, they kicked the playoff a team last minute. And so it leaves him very little time to find a new team, to get in with that team and compete in this big event that they spent loads of money and loads of time preparing for. And he was a bit annoyed. But the, the problem behind that is, it's not just some simple drama where they kick someone. Supercell have to approve this. And they approve that. And so there's a big controversy in the, um, in the community. And all of a sudden, content creators got on board on this and was like, listen, this is not acceptable. The way you've treated this guy is not acceptable. Now, I don't know the whole story. No one does. I can't see someone just getting kicked out for no reason last minute. So there might have been some beef in some way, something he's done. We don't really know. But what happened after this is a set a new precedent. And... It's absolute madness, and this this is hundred percent factual. So this is that's just a bit of backstory. What happened? So then the content creators have started saying this is not good enough and doing negative videos around Supercell and what they've done. So what Supercell did to a couple of content creators was they didn't appreciate what they were doing by backing this guy that got kicked out, and so to stop them from creating this content and putting these stories out. They put copy strikes against their content. So, to give you an idea what happens, if someone puts a copy strike against your content and you get three strikes where, where YouTube approve that and say, yeah, you're right, you did copyright you know, this person's material without uh, you know, fair usage, which is a broad term, if you get three strikes, you actually get removed from YouTube. Now, this wasn't just someone that had a negative you know view of someone and put a copyright strike in this was actually supercell did this and it seems like they were trying to manipulate the content creators into not doing negative content now some might say but was a why are you covering supercell that's nothing to do with earth wars well actually it is because supercell own i think it's around 60 percent around that of space ape Supercell are the majority shareholder of Space Ape. And so sadly, if something dramatic happens to Supercell, because there's talk of getting even lawyers involved and things like that, the way they've got about this, because it's fair usage. You know, we I use Transformers Earth Wars in my streams, and I use that because I'm trying to promote the game and vice versa. And, and other people can use your content and do a review of it. And there's nothing much you can really do, really, if you go, I don't like that. Because they can use it as long as they've made enough changes to it to be their own content. Now, if they're just showing the game in the background and they're reviewing that or they're just talking about the game 
and showing pictures of the game in the background, then that's not copyright strike. That's them playing the game. And so it's really unfair what Supercell have actually done, but it's causing waves. And you've got to ask yourself, like, you know, is this the future of YouTube? Is this the future of gaming? I mean, surely not. That if you do content for a game and you give it negative views, are you seen as negative? That they get removed, you get removed off YouTube? I just think to myself that, you know, I'm quite negative around SpaceIt right now because a lot of the changes they make, I'm not really happy with. And it's not good, but I'm not also not going to change what I do. I'm not going to change my opinion on things because I'm scared that SpaceX are going to kick me off. And I don't think Dale would do that, to be fair. I'm very, in fact, I know Dale wouldn't do it. But it's still a thing in the back of your mind where you think, you know, if this is the way that Supercell want to go with this, where they don't like negative content creators, it is a possibility even, a slim choice as it is. So, if you want to go look into it, like I said, I will go and uh, look into Asmon Gold's uh, Supercell drama video. It's about an hour long, but you can sort of sift through it. There's loads of content creators doing content on it, and it, it is absolute madness what's been going on. Um, and literally every content creator of the game is covering this right now and sort of like backing everyone. Um, they've banned people from it, from the game. It's absolute chaos what's going on behind the scenes. And But obviously, if Supercell stock go down and they're a majority shareholder of um, Space Ape, then eventually Space Ape's stock goes down. So what they do, obviously, feeds into uh, what's happening at Space Ape. So, interesting to see how they deal with this now. Um, whether Supercell will turn back on that. Um, and whether it has an impact on space tape.